Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at deriving an expression for kinetic energy for an object undergoing SHM. So let's get started. Now for simple harmonic motion, you need to be able to derive an expression for the kinetic energy of the object. And this is something you need to be able to do as you could be asked to do it in the exam. So starting with the familiar kinetic energy of formula from National 5 Physics, EK equals a half mv squared. We can actually substitute in our expression for the velocity of an object undergoing SHM, which was our general expression for velocity, which is on your relationship sheet in the exam, v equals plus or minus omega times the square root of a squared minus y squared. So if you sub that in for v, then we get ek equals a half m times plus or minus omega times the square root of a squared minus y squared all squared. And therefore, if you expand this term by squaring the omega to get omega squared, then you can also square this square root, which just cancels out the square root. So we end up with a squared minus y squared on the inside. So therefore, we have ek equals a half m omega squared times a squared minus y squared, where the symbols have their usual meanings. So remember, ek is your kinetic energy in joules, m is your mass of the object in kilograms, omega is your angular frequency in radians per second, a is the amplitude of the object undergoing SHM in meters, and y is the displacement in meters. So you get this equation on the relationship sheet in the exam, but remember, you need to be able to show those steps to get there. And lastly, it says that the kinetic energy is at a maximum when the displacement y equals zero. So remember we said in the previous theory video about the energy in SHM that an object will have its maximum velocity and therefore maximum kinetic energy when y equals zero at the equilibrium position. This means that our maximum kinetic energy here will equal a half m omega squared times a squared because the y equals zero. So we can just say that that y squared term cancels out and we end up with a half m omega squared a squared. So it simplifies a wee bit when we're thinking about maximum kinetic energy, but that's one that won't appear on your relationship sheet in the exam. You just need to remember that y equals zero is where you will have maximum kinetic energy. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.